Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing, you guessed it, because it's in the title and right there, the GeForce GTX 280 in 2022, playing games from like 2015 and older because it doesn't support newer titles than that. <laughs> so the GTX 280 over here is 14 years old at this point and it was the best GPU that money could buy back in 2008 when it released. So it was a beast of a card back then, costing 649 US dollars, same as 860-ish dollars these days with inflation. And going over the specs real quick, this has 240 CUDA cores, it's based on the 65 nanometer process, GT200 GPU, it has 1 gigabyte of GDDR3 VRAM, and... It's better than a 3090 Ti in this one spec. It has a 512 bit memory buzz where the 3090 Ti has 384 bit. So what the hell, right? This is crazy. <laughs> it also consumes 236 watts of power, which was a lot back in the days. Pretty power hungry GPU. And if you want a better look, stripping down the cooler will give us just that. And surprise, surprise, it is pretty damn big, isn't it? All right, that's enough intro now. Let's install this in the system and see how it plays some games, shall we? And it is desktop time. Let's see the specs on screen right now. GeForce GTX 280 is installed there in MSI Afterburner. You can see that we're running the latest drivers available to it, which are the 342.01. These are the clock speeds right here. You can actually see all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z release date 2008, 240 CUDA cores, 1 gig of GDDR3, DirectX 10 support. So, of course, it doesn't support the latest games. Over on the left, we're pairing it today with an i7-4770K at stock speeds. I can't really overclock it because it's using the stock cooler and 16 gigabytes of DDR3 clocked at 1605 megahertz. I'm not sure why <laughs> it's at 1605, but okay. And let's start with GTA 5 in DirectX 10, 1080p resolution using the normal settings or the lowest settings basically, and advanced settings are all turned off. So when GTA 5 released on PC, damn it. <laughs> Wrecking the car already. Uh, this GPU was already seven years old, so it's pretty impressive that it can still play it at 1080p resolution, although with a few stutters here and there. Not sure what is causing that. Probably the um, old drivers, actually, because yeah, GPU utilization isn't even maxed out right there, unfortunately. But still, it it makes for a decent experience here, especially if you lock it to 30 FPS. It could be even smoother. Oh boy. Uh, people don't use blinkers in this one, which is a shame, honestly. <laughs> the 1 gig of VRAM is actually enough here at 1080p normal settings. If you increase some settings, well, it's not going to be enough anymore. You actually need to drop the resolution. And let's try not to hit anybody. Oh, that doesn't count because it was on the side, you know. The guy's was fat, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. All right, never mind, guys. I don't care anymore. People don't move out of the way. I won't move out of their way either. Otherwise, I will wreck my car. It's already a little bit wrecked. <laughs> All right, let's move here. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably going to drop from 30 frames per second around here. Eh? It's not really dropping that much. Okay. That is not bad. This is probably one of the most intensive areas because of all of the bushes around here and it's performing quite well. Hello Jack, I missed you so much after those Spider-Man benchmarks. Finally seeing Jack once again, this is beautiful. Oh boy, it does drop into the 20s because of Bob, of course. Bob is a demon, he's Satan and uh, he, he's making our FPS drop. This is why uh, Bob is so bad of a person, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. Now it's Grand Theft Auto 4. This game actually released in 2008, like the GTX 280. So this was the best GPU available at the time to play this game with. 1080p resolution, high settings with 25 over here. Yeah, not maxed out, but this was extremely intensive back in the days. So oh my god, it is terrible. What the heck is happening here? Jesus. How the heck can a game be this unwell optimized? <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Something wrong is happening with MSI Afterburner as well. As you can see, it's flashing a lot there, probably causing a little bit of stuttering as well. Ah, that's, that's horrible. Now, the thing is, for this game to work properly, you actually need to lock your FPS. So I will lock them to 30. Okay, it's now kept to 30 frames per second and it's still stuttering like hell. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, we're using a CPU that's totally overkill compared to everything that was available at the time, basically Core 2 Duos and Core 2 Quads, and uh, a GPU that was the best in its class back then, and it's still pretty rough here at 1080p high settings. Whoa, this is a little bit unexpected. Right now it's smoothed out a little bit, but uh, still has a ton of uh, spikes there in the graph. This is actually why I didn't test the GTX 285 in this game, because I saw it stuttering so much. I actually thought it was something wrong with pairing that GPU with the Ryzen 7 3700X at the time, but uh, apparently no, it's just this game sucks in terms of optimization. <laughs> okay, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? I get into Steam to test CSGO, and this is the first thing I see. <laughs> Alright, it's CSGO now, not fresh women, guys, okay? I'm not gonna test that game 10. 1080p resolution, very low settings. Damn, guys, look at that frame time graph going all over the place. That's terrible. I remember playing this game with like a GTX 260, I believe it was, and a similar CPU to this one. Uh, back in like 2017, 2016 maybe, uh, and I was getting pretty decent FPS, like 120 frames per second at 1080p, very low settings, but he, today a GTX 280 is not capable of getting that, and it's actually a really stuttery experience, unfortunately. This kind of sucks, you know? I'm always killing AFK people, that also sucks a bit as well. Um, so do I like the experience here? It could be worse, it's better than a GT710, but you can't really play competitively like this. Damn it, what the heck? Camping bastards everywhere. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're dominating the Shot I got a boy. That's uh, the cry now. Let's try the AWP for a little bit here, guys. I can feel the slowdowns. Even without trying to flick, it's pretty bad. Oh boy, oh boy, hello. <laughs> This guy sucks, and I do as well. But I mean, I am the one playing on a 14-year-old GPU, so... Yeah, he sucks more. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, come on, dude. This is so hard like this. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 yeah, boy. Get wrecked. No, no, not from behind. Oh, seriously. That was so close. It's, it's so close, it's unfair, actually. Oh boy, and how did I not kill that chicken there? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, 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 why did I switch to the knife? Come on, buddy, stop waiting for me. Be a man and face me, please, or a woman. You know what, I'm starting to get used to this stuttering and it's not affecting me as much anymore, which is great. Let's go with this, M249. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. <sighs> Again, M249. Oh boy, come on. Why me? Why me? Why did you both choose to kill me? Oh my god, seriously. Seriously. Hey, <laughs> hey. Got that chicken now. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Yes, please. Everybody just walking through my crosshairs. That's exactly what I want. And now, oh. All right, so we managed 749 points here in the deathmatch third place. That's not bad. And after the first most played game on Steam comes the second most played game on Steam. It's Dota 2 this time, using 1080p resolution and the medium settings with 100% resolution scale. And no, it's not running in DirectX 11. It's probably running DirectX 9 or 10. Okay, here we are. Wow, those FPS are actually extremely nice for Dota 2. I thought we'd need to drop the resolution scale by a little bit, honestly. This is pretty good. Holy crap, it's not dropping from 60 too much. Damn. Honestly, I did not expect it. Oh, it's dropping so much now. Damn, you gotta ban Monkey King, guys. <laughs> Because <laughs> these effects are just way too much for a little GTX 280, I guess. But hey, whenever nothing is happening, like over here, just pushing a lane by yourself, for example, it's actually above 60 frames per second. That's very impressive for a GPU this old. This game is from 2013, but it has received a ton of updates since then, just like uh, CSGO has. And we got a little bit of a, a fight here again. It's not really dropping by all that much into the 40s. I think on the low settings, it could actually be a competitive experience. And I have friends who play this game competitively and uh, they play with around these FPS fluctuating between 30 and 60 frames per second. So this is not bad by any means, especially for a GPU this old. 
It's just bad that it consumes a lot of power, of course. A 1080p resolution native. That's crazy, because when this GPU was made, 1080p wasn't even a thing, or at least it wasn't very popular back then in 2008. So the fact that it's playing this game at 1080p with pretty good visuals, wow. Now we got 2012's beautiful Far Cry 3 at 1080p DirectX 9 using the medium settings preset, which were actually the optimal settings for this GPU. And you know what's best about having no sound? I can't hear Dennis. I, I mean, he's probably talking right now, right? But I guess I will still have to hear that bastard whenever I'm editing, so... I can't really get away from Dennis, can I? <laughs> anyway, those reflections... No, it's not reflections, it's actually bullet holes in the windshield. They, they look really bad right there. <laughs> I do not like that. Oh boy, there goes our car. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of here. It's actually pretty solid. It looks really good aside from some of the textures, but hey, 2012 game. It doesn't really stutter all that much. And when it does, it's not really noticeable. Like I can see some frame time spikes for sure, but just moving the camera around, I wouldn't really say it is stuttering, honestly. It feels okay, it feels decent. And let's take on this outpost right here. Yeah, that stutter there was actually a little bit noticeable. Let's see. Can't you tell that I just threw a grenade? <laughs> okay. Uh, should we disable this? Eh, no, not really. Can we climb this? What? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to climb the post there. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to die. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't kill me. Yeah, it feels all right, guys. I mean, the sensitivity is definitely not there for me. It's way too high. Uh, but it feels okay. It is playable. And this is a heck of a game as well. So if you haven't played this yet, and if you have a GTX 280, I don't think many people are out there with GTX 280s these days. But yeah, give this one a try, because it's an, an amazing game. Again, I played it twice. And we got Jack's friend right here. Beautiful stuff. Now, it's the best modern day Battlefield title, 2013's Battlefield 4 at 1080p, using the auto settings, which are the medium settings. Flood Zone is actually really intensive, guys. And uh, wow. This is playable, it's 30 FPS, not really very good, um, but around here is like most intensive scenario in this game, basically. This game is like, it's the, the, oh, the this map is the most intensive one in this game. Uh, as w I have seen so far, jeez, I can't even talk right now, what is happening? I actually played a lot of Battlefield 3 with around these FPS, so it is definitely very possible to play like this just not the smoothest thing obviously like I would probably choose to lower it down to low settings but I can't deny this is pretty impressive no not from be it wasn't from behind so I can't complain right <laughs> yeah, look at all of that ambient occlusion being rendered on a five-year-old GPU at the time at medium settings it is pretty impressive Maybe people that bought the GTX 280 weren't really after the 30 FPS experience here. People that bought this card were high-end buyers at the time. Oh, look at those lens flares, that looks absolutely amazing. The colors, wow, beautiful game, guys. Just forgot that we're actually playing at 1080p. <laughs> so playing this game at like 720p, which would have been a more accurate and adequate resolution for a card like this, would actually probably be at 60 frames per second. All right, so this is it, guys. 720p resolution at medium settings. It's getting 60-ish FPS. It still will drop here and there, of course. It's better, once again, than my GT630M that I had back in the days. And I played this game with, like, 25 frames per second at 720p low settings. So this... <laughs> I mean, this is way better. I would have loved to have the GTX 280 back in 2013. No, whoa, what the hell was that jump? What did I just do? <laughs> Oh, come on, why did you kill me? That was super fun. Next up is Skyrim, and we're playing this one at 1080p using no anti-aliasing and, uh, yeah, the high settings preset. I remember seeing the models of these things back in the days and being super impressed of the detail. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's start counting the frames. This game is actually kept to 60 frames per second. I am dying. I am almost dead, actually. One more hit and I'm dead. Jesus. Okay, let's, let's grab Roach, which uh, is there, I guess. No, he's there. He's 
right there. Yes. Roach, get over here. I got you, boy. Oh, they're trying to hit my knees with the arrows, guys. We gotta be very careful here. Let's do this. Get the heck out of here. This is looking fantastic, actually. Come on. I forget that shift starts walking. <laughs> uh. I'm sabotaging myself, <laughs> escaping this. <laughs> Keep on running, my friend Roach. It's actually pretty decent whenever it's kept to 60 frames per second. So when we reach the engine limit, 60 FPS, it doesn't seem to stutter too much. But then when it drops from 60, it starts being too jittery, I think, for my taste. So I would actually choose to lock the FPS in this one to like 50 or 40 frames per second. It's going to be a bit smoother than 30 frames per second locked, and uh, it will get get rid of those little uh, jitters in the frame time graph and stutters, you know? Yeah, look at that. It still drops into the 30s at times in like worst case scenarios. All right, we're inside now. No, no, run, run, pinky finger, do not do anything. <laughs> okay, 60s, it's pretty much the same thing around here actually. Not bad. It's, it's a solid experience here in Skyrim if you lock the FPS, otherwise it's gonna be pretty stuttery. Wait, that's not my knee! Come on, guys! And now we got one of the most popular titles of 2009. This is Left 4 Dead 2, 1080p resolution, using the high settings with no anti-aliasing. Oh, whoa, what the hell is this? 200s! Sometimes it reaches 200 frames per second, that's crazy! Let me get the first aid, yep, okay, there we go. Let's do this then! <laughs> Damn, that is insane, actually! Okay, it's probably gonna drop now, because we are in the park map, and uh, this has a lot of vegetation and stuff like that. So it, it is very, very taxing on the GPU. It's probably not the most intensive map, actually, but I don't remember which one that is. And I remember that this one was actually pretty intensive. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is running pretty well. Oh, come on, get out of my way, people. Okay, let's go, let's throw it out here. And uh, let's stand close to it so we can see the explosion and we can see how much it will drop to. So 70s there. Now, of course, it runs really well because when this game came out, this was one of the beast GPUs at the time, obviously. All right, let's go, let's go, kill the witch, kill the witch. Let's go, very good, very good. Honestly, it's just amazing to play this game on a GTX 280. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm loving it right now. <laughs> this is awesome. It's probably because back in the days I was playing this game at 720p, 25 frames per second with a GeForce 100 in 3M. And uh, this was my dream back in the days to be able to play this game at a high resolution. Like 900p was a high resolution back then and that's what I wanted. Not even talking about 1080p. I just wanted to play this game at high settings. Uh, 1440 by 900 I think it was and uh, at, at 60 FPS that that was my perfect experience at the time this is better than that you know wow next up is Minecraft Java edition and we're using iris and sodium version 1.19.2 and looking at the settings wait a second let's see it like this it's better 1080p resolution using like what I'd call high settings the bamboo forests are very very intensive indeed and it's performing like a beast actually of course it's Minecraft right it's not really that intensive whatsoever but a GT710 for example in this scenario it drops from 60 FPS I saw like 51, 52 with that card in a bamboo forest like this one um, or a jungle area, for example. So this is a heck of a lot better than that, obviously. But this is also using sodium, which is uh, performing a lot better than Optifine these days, I think. And whenever you're flying fast through the world, if you're playing in creative mode, it actually gets a little bit too stuttery because it's got to render everything, the chunks around you, you know, and that's very intensive, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, the GPU utilization isn't even maxed out. I'm not sure if that's because of the drivers, but probably not. Probably we're seeing the limits of this fourth gen i7 here, rendering the chunks and stuff like that. So it's actually a CPU bottleneck in Minecraft. Arc Survival Evolved is next, and I am going to be really surprised if this works properly. 720p, lowest settings, 100% resolution scale there, and we're actually utilizing the extremely low memory mode. And oh boy, that is a uh, it, it. I don't know. 
I guess it's playable. Oh, we can see some dinosaurs. That's beautiful. Because I remember testing a GPU that was also very, very old and it didn't render the dinosaurs for some reason. <laughs> it was quite funny. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I don't have God mode. Oh, what the hell? Seriously. Okay, I, I guess we gotta fly. All right, now we're gods, I guess. We're flying around. We're in a very intensive area, actually, with all of these roots and stuff like that, and it's it's not dropping too much from 30 frames per second. That's actually very impressive, guys. What the hell? It's playable. Ark Survival Evolved, a 2015 game that has optimization as terrible as 2021 games. <laughs> yeah, because 2021 games have terrible optimization, you know? <laughs> <laughs> most of them, is actually somewhat playable around 30 frames per second on a GTX 280 from 2008. How crazy is that, guys? And now it's Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I think it's the most recent Call of Duty title that this GPU supports. It's from 2012, 1080p resolution, 90 FOV, shadows are disabled, but everything else is on high, aside from depth of field, because... Yeah, that looks terrible in this game, honestly. And as you can probably tell, it's quite smooth and playable, to be expected, because the game actually asks for uh, an 8800 GT GPU as its minimum requirements, I believe. I remember that. Uh, or maybe recommended. I'm actually not too sure. But uh, yeah, it's not intensive whatsoever. The games, Call of Duty games after this one became pretty intensive for some reason. But I liked it when they kept it simple. You know, the graphics were simple, uh, but they, they were decent, you know. And it ran on a potato. I remember running this game on the GT630M once again. And I had a lot of fun playing like 200 hours of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. And... Come on, come on, we can do this, we can do this, right? Let's go! Nope, no, oh, 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 oh. knife the bastard, okay. There we go, if these weren't regular bots, ah, we died. I would be screwed. Yeah, this is pretty good, and this means that you can actually play all of the Call of Duty titles that came out before this one did, and although they're all dead in the multiplayer side of things, Seriously, even the bots do this? <laughs> um, the campaigns are actually really good in these older Call of Duty titles, so I really recommend you to play them, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Very, very good campaigns, and I, I certainly had a lot of fun playing through them. So uh, you guys will as well with your GTX 280 if you have this card. I'm not sure. I'm talking to honestly if you have this card nobody has this card anymore <laughs> and finally can it run crisis I couldn't leave this one out of the GTX 1080 review right so 1080p resolution no anti-aliasing high settings preset with no motion blur look how gorgeous this game looks this is a 2007 title guys 2007 look at those textures there holy crap isn't it beautiful guys Damn, it is insane. <laughs> We're gonna start counting our FPS. I actually tried it on very high first, but it was getting 25 FPS around here. So high is the way to go for sure with the GTX 280. This is so good. Look at this. Look at all of these. Come on, come over here. Come over here. Let me pick you up. There we go. There we go. We got our friend here. <laughs> Let's throw them out. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Let's do this. We got some explosions as well. Look at that. Not a problem for a GTX 280. Basically, you actually needed a beast GPU back in the day if you wanted to play Crysis. And this is Crysis 1, it's not the remastered version, obviously. <laughs> Although it looks like it, because it still looks extremely good. Look at this, all of this vegetation. This was super impressive back in the days, guys. I can't emphasize how impressive this game looked back in 2007. The fact that it still looks good even today tells you something, right? This was a really, really intensive title. And when it came out, there was basically no GPU that could run it properly. <laughs> Hence the meme, can it run Crisis? We got this very, very easy, of course. We're probably playing on the easiest difficulty. Test. Why would I choose any other difficulty? <laughs> and I'm almost dead still. <laughs> All right, let's go invisible. Not intensive for this GPU, by the way, as you can see. And I'm just gonna go right here. Look at the water effects as well. Some ray traced reflections. Actually, they don't disappear when things go off screen, so that's very impressive. <laughs> it's cube maps, I think. Let's go here. Let's kill this bastard. Explode. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. Worst case scenario right there. 24 frames per second. Cinematic experience, I would say. And fire effects aren't really all that intensive, as you can see. So you could definitely have a pretty decent experience here with a GTX 280, um, especially if you were playing at a lower resolution, like 1024 by 768 was pretty popular back then, 1440 by 900 as well. And it is conclusion time. Do I recommend this flaming hot GTX 280 that is burning my hand right now because I just uninstalled it from the system? Of course, I do not recommend. It. It's just too old of a GPU, obviously. Even if you can buy it for like 10 bucks, I, I would buy it because it's a pretty paperweight, basically, and a collector's item at this point. Um, but not to play games with it. You know, you should buy something better, more efficient if you plan on playing games. Even these games that we saw today that ran pretty well on it. Yeah, just grab something like a GTX 650, for example, or 750. Those will be way more power efficient and they will actually perform better than this as well. So this is best left in the past or in your collector's shelf or something like that. But I can say that for a 2008 GPU, this actually performed pretty damn well. Like, GTA 5 was playable on it. And that's been it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye bye